If you ever wanted to see all planets of the solar system, then you're in luck. June 2020 marks a remarkable planet parade when any person in the world can see five planets of the solar system aligned in the sky. Taking into account that the next time it will happen only in September 2040, you probably shouldn't miss this opportunity. In this video, you'll find out how to easily see the planets with the naked eye and why this event is such a big deal. It will be very interesting. Hi there, Mikhail is here. First of all, I haven't found a scientific definition of the word planet parade, but basically this event happens when several or all planets of the solar system align in a small part of the sky. In our case, the best time to see this planet parade is June 24th, but actually it's visible throughout the entire month. So if it's cloudy in your city right now, you still have time until the end of June. Light pollution is also not gonna be a problem, because planets are very bright objects and people that reside in places like New York will also see the parade. First, you need to google the time of dawn in your city. This event happens very early in the morning, and this is the only problem for most people. Just wake up early at least one time. All of the planets are visible in the eastern sky roughly for an hour before sunrise. You actually don't need a compass, just remember which way the sun sets, and in the opposite direction, you'll later see the planets. If you still can't find them, there is another method – find the moon. Beginning on June 18th, the moon will be located near the planets, and because it's an extremely easy object to spot, you can use it as an identifier. If you see something similar to this in the sky, then you're looking directly at the parade of planets. It may look different depending on your latitude, but unless you live in the very far north, you'll be able to see it. Very interesting fact! In countries that are located in the southern hemisphere, the planets in the sky will line up the other way around. Fascinating. Now let's talk a little bit about the planets. They are aligned in their order from the Sun, with two exceptions. They are aligned in their order from the Sun, with two exceptions. Remember I said that you will see just five planets? Well, actually there are seven planets, if we include Uranus and Neptune. Unfortunately, these ice giants are not visible to the naked eye. You'll have to use binoculars or a telescope to see them. Also, there is another very interesting thing you located right here near Saturn. This is Vesta, the brightest asteroid visible from Earth. Just like in the case with Neptune and Uranus, you'll have to bring with you an optical instrument, since this sneaky asteroid is barely visible to the naked eye. So here we have seven planets, an asteroid, and even the moon aligned together above the eastern horizon. This is an ideal opportunity for astronomers that want not just to see these celestial objects, but to know what these planets look like. For example, Mercury, due to its proximity to the Sun, is a dim and the most elusive planet. Viewers from northern latitudes will have a hard time trying to find it. Therefore, it's better to use binoculars, but you can still try to see it with the naked eye. Just remember, never look at the Sun through a telescope unless you want your eyes to become scrambled eggs, of course. On the other hand, Venus will probably be the first object that you will spot in the sky. It's so freaking, incredibly, mind-bogglingly bright that there is no chance you won't be able to see it. At the same time, Mars now looks like a pretty bright star of a reddish color. It will be located between Venus and Jupiter, two extremely easy objects to spot. If you see anything red in between, it's certainly Elon Musk's homeland. Jupiter, just like I said, is very bright, but not as bright as Venus. Saturn is located quite far from other planets in the sky, and it will seem a little bit dimmer than Mars. In between of Venus and the red planet, you'll find Uranus. and here are hiding Neptune and Vesta. 
If you want to impress a person that you will share this view with, you can say that the planets are not located this close to each other in space. In fact, there are millions of miles between them, and that's where they are in their orbits right now, if we look from a different angle. If the person is still not impressed, here are very interesting facts about every planet. Mercury is about the size of the United States. Venus is the hottest planet in the system. The moon is made of cheese. Mars. Um, remember Starman launched by SpaceX in 2018? It never flew close to the red planet, and it never reached it as well. It was just simply launched toward Mars to show that Falcon Heavy can deliver payloads over there. While Jupiter often protects Earth by deflecting comets and asteroids, sometimes it also sends objects on a collision course straight toward us. So this planet can both save and kill us. Saturn has a ravioli-shaped moon. Uranus and Neptune are two very lonely planets. Vesta is just the second largest asteroid in the asteroid belt. And finally, if you look down, you will see the eighth planet, Earth. Yeah, I stole this joke, so what? I'll repeat the steps one more time, because it's so easy to see the planet parade, and you cannot miss it. First, use my map to identify the planets, or here it is for the southern hemisphere. Second, identify the eastern part of the sky. Find the moon in the sky if you are still not sure where these annoying planets are. Third, wake up an hour and a half before dawn, just in case you cannot stop hitting snooze. Fourth, use optical instruments if you want to see two additional planets and an asteroid. Fifth, subscribe to Very Interesting Channel. And thank you for watching very interesting videos. Bye.